What is up everyone? We are here with some Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and oh boy did they just drop a bunch of stuff here. So first off, this is back from a post from October 30th regarding the substats of Materia. On November 19th they've added a new note. So as of November 19th we've implemented additional support to add boost HP and boost heal to healing materials such as Cure, Healing Asuna, uh, for Fog, Fatigue, and Poison. So uh, that is now added in. So we check here. Boom. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. This is the new chart for that bottom one. Okay. So uh, it's hard to get HP for both those uh, he and uh, heal. But, you know, it's interesting that we can now get those so that's great that's a new note that was added in perfect so time to start remaking some cures apparently okay next we can now pre-order final fantasy 7 rebirth uh scheduled for release on february 29th 2024 again that's for ps5 uh the second entry will make a full-length standalone adventure that takes cloud and comrades on a journey into unknown wilderness on the trail of the legendary soldier sephiroth I'm hoping by end of March we get the Steam release. Alright, we have our new Chapter 7, our Chapter 4 for Final Fantasy 7 Story Mode unlocked, as well as an added Criterion Dungeon. Uh, we can earn draw tickets and other rewards. So, that's great. And we have the new dungeon update here uh, so as of November 19th new dungeons and difficulty levels have been added to solo content by challenging the crisis dungeons which are even more difficult than the criterion dungeons you can reward earn rewards such as blue crystals and a new recipe ooh you get a new materia all right we'll have to check that out here in a second also the five star bustroom sword has been added to the crisis metal exchange since November by collecting crisis medals, you can exchange one every month. So it looks like the, the Buster Sword will continue uh, to be added in every month. That is awesome. I am glad they did that. I think it's a welcome change. So they've added the Mount Nebel Criterion Dungeon and Mount Nebel, as well as Shinra Building Very Hard for Crisis Dungeons. Uh, Shinra Building Very Hard will be available until December 14th. So that'll be going bye-bye. Uh, December 14th, so about a month from now. A little less. Uh, crisis dungeons are unlocked by beating that dungeon. Perfect. You just did that one. Character level uncapping. We knew about this one going from level 55 to 60. They have uh, added in the training quest character experience 7. The character stream is now not just unlocked at 60. It's 57 and then 60. That's a welcome change. And again, uncapping the character levels is scheduled to be implemented regularly. We have a co-op battle coming soon for Ramu. It's great. Um, doesn't look like anything new there, so I'm assuming this will be just like it was for uh, when they did the Ifrit and Shiva ones. So that will be coming November 21st, so two days from today. So Tuesday evening. Oh man, Ooh. and new chapter release campaign on now. So as of November 19th, the new chapter release campaign is on now. In celebration of the new chapter release, we'll be holding events such as gifting draw tickets and encountering the rare enemy Metal Cactar. Gifting 10 tickets, perfect. Metal Cactar will appear for a little bit amount of time, gain large amounts of character experience. You will appear in the following quests, Solo Content Enhancement, Solo Content Summon, Co-op, will not appear in Premium Quests. Uh, will appear once a day in the... A rare enemy special featuring Metal Cactars will appear once a day in the Daily Quest. In the rare enemy special, Metal Cactars will not flee. A Training Campaign. All right, so as of November 19th, the new chapter release training campaign is now on now. In some quests, the experience made by Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, Aerith, and Red 13 will increase by 30%. Okay. 
Whew, that was a lot of stuff. So if we come in here to missions, I'm assuming that's... Or not missions, probably gift. Let's collect these missions really quickly. So if we come in here to gifts, there's our... Uh, chapter release gift. Perfect. Uh, so so I did want to check really quickly. Uh, why am I not seeing these? Do I need to go back to the home screen? Let's go in here first. All right, let's take us back to the title screen for a second. And we'll go back in and we'll see if we can't see uh, what recipes were given to us. So here's our <laughs> notifications of that stuff. Great. New campaign. Cool. So now if I go in here. Oh, we can see the metal cactar. So yes, that should have updated now. So let's go into the crisis dungeons. There's our Shinra building, but let's come down here because I want to see this. Oh, we have to do the new chapter to be even be able to view it. In okay, I didn't read that part. I mean, to be fair, it did say we had to clear something, so... 197. Ice. Okay, we can make that happen. Not sure what else is in there, but we, well, we can make it happen. We can definitely make it happen. Um, let's check out the Criterion Dungeon. Still need 100% the Calpine Caverns. Can't even check that one out. Okay, so I guess I need to work on the story. So that's what's going to happen next. All right, guys. We're going to call that here. I'm going to jump into the story, start a video for that one. So thanks for watching. Again, if you guys do like the things you see, hit that like button, subscribe. Comment down below different things that you maybe I missed that you'd like to point out. Or if there's any input you'd like to add to what I added, you know, feel free to do so. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.